it's also a fact of team sports that there's always going to be more players than they can play at any given time. Backups are necessary. They're part of the game. Pro basketball is one of those few sports that officially recognizes the best player coming off the bench. It has its yearly sixth man award. In recent years, Lamar Odom of the NBA Lakers He's been given a lot of credit for the Lakers' back-to-back -back championships coming off the bench. It's his team-first attitude that makes Odom such a perfect fit. His temperament and the fact that he's been able to sacrifice so much of his own statistics for the betterment of the team, I don't think is talked about enough. You know, case in point, this year, Lamar had to start the season for Andrew Bynum, and then he goes right back to the bench, doesn't say a word about it. And that's why Lamar is so beloved in that locker room. Everybody loves Lamar. <laughs> just because of that, he's not a selfish player. He, he just plays hard. He just does the things that we need in order to win. NFL quarterback Steve Young. He sat the bench for four years before, he's, before he got his chance, and now he's in the Hall of Fame. The list of athletes like this is endless. So what do you do if you're a bench warmer? Well, first off, I'll tell you what you do not do, and that's pout or complain about it. Second, find the right time to ask the coach what it is that you need to do to get more playing time or become a starter, and then follow that advice. Third, you have to remember, coaches are most interested in the whole team winning. And you've got to ask yourself, what can I do from the bench here to help this team win? One thing you certainly can do is to be the best bench warmer there ever was. Which means it's your job to fire up and cheer on your team. There's absolutely no excuse for those sitting on the bench to hang their heads or, or to not pay attention to the game. Get in the game from the bench. Show the coach your energy, your fire, your enthusiasm. You know, be that player that comes to the game with a great attitude no matter what. Believe me. This has an influence on your coach. Sulking or having pity parties, they're only going to keep you on the bench. And many coaches have been known to pick players off the bench just based on a hunch on, on how much heart that that player has. Be that player, whether you get in the game or not. Even if you ride the bench the whole year, you'll be learning powerful lessons about yourself. They'll be valuable in your whole life, such as discipline, consistency, perseverance, and especially patience, like Matt Cassell. When you're feeling down about riding the bench, remember Matt Cassell, and never, ever, ever give up. Your time will come. I'm Craig Sigel, the Mental Toughness Trainer.